This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. Not all products, features or services mentioned in this video are available for sale in all countries. Contact your local Draeger representative for more information. Mentioned trademarks are only registered in certain countries and not necessarily in the country in which this material is released. Go to draeger.com slash trademarks to find the current status. In this video, we will demonstrate the cleaning of the Draeger PSS Airboss. Appropriate protective clothing should always be worn for this purpose. If the PSS Airboss is heavily soiled, for example due to a fire, pre-cleaning should be carried out. This can be done with a brush, a double-sided soft sponge and or a lint-free cloth. Here the pre-cleaning has already been done. To prepare the single elements for cleaning, the Draeger blanking kit is used. The lung demand valve is unplugged and the coupling is closed. The pressurized gas cylinder is removed and sealed, as is the pressure reducer. Waist belt, shoulder pads and other attachments, as well as the lung demand valve, pressure reducers and accessories are removed. The last three are washed in accordance with the instructions for use. Before cleaning, first check the pH value to ensure that the correct dosage has been observed as per the instructions for use. If the device is heavily soiled, it can be further dismantled. Place the individual parts of the carrying system in the immersion bath and clean with a soft lint-free cloth, a double-sided soft sponge or a brush. The individual parts can be cleaned in the mesh basket and then rinsed in the immersion bath. After cleaning in the immersion bath, rinse the items off using clear water. Place all parts in the basket in preparation for drying. The devices are then dried either in ambient air or in a drying cabinet at a temperature below 60 degrees Celsius. After drying, the components are reassembled at a clean site as per the manufacturer's testing and assembly instructions.